Hey everyone, it's Simcha here from The Fusing Shop. And tonight I was going to show a video on how to make an incense, uh, incense holder. Um, but we had a visitor in the house and let me just show you. We had this special visitor right here. has derailed my uh, schedule programming for the evening so first things first I'm gonna take this guy for a ride in the car and drop him off in a nice spot where he can make his new home and hopefully hopefully he doesn't have any siblings that have moved in with us so so far this is the only guy and hopefully he is the last all right, so give me about a half an hour and we'll be back. Okay, now that the mouse has been tended to and dropped off in a very nice, beautiful spot where he will be making his new home, we're ready to get on with the project. So let's just gather our materials. I'm going to take you for a walk across my basement here. All right, and the first thing we're going to need is a bottle. So let's go grab a bottle. Uh, let's see, which color do we want to get? Uh, we got green, we got clear, we have blue. So many to choose from here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead with the clear one here. Okay. Next thing we're going to need. We got our bottle. Okay, I am back now and I have everything we need. So, got the bottle. Next thing you're going to need is a key ring. It's one of these little keychain rings. Um, you're going to need a glass hole saw bit, which is right here. And a drill. So we're going to get this all set up. And also water, because you never grind or polish glass without a steady water supply. And I'm just going to bring us over to oh, there we go, the grow sink again. Hello, grow sink. Okay, so we're just going to drill a hole like right about here in the bottom. We don't want it right here, smack. On the bottom of the glass we want it to be about right here when we drill our hole the way we're going to do it i don't know if you're going to be able to see when i go into the sink with this but we're going to drill a little bit at an angle for this bit to grip or else it just like slides all over the bottle if you don't start at a little bit of an angle and then you gradually gradually turn the bit flush and then you just go straight through all right, so here we go. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put my water on. Again, because you don't want any of this glass dust getting in the air. And we'll go ahead and drill this hole. And just let me show you what's happening here. We made like a little notch there for the drill bit to grab onto. through just rinse everything off let's get that chunk of glass out of the bottle flip it over there it is get back here's a little circle that we just popped out 
that we're going to throw in the garbage we don't need that boom done rinse out your bottle get rid of any glass dust that may have gotten in there put my thumb over it shake it up a little bit and there it is there's our hole now the last thing we need to do is put everything together so I'm going to just take a stick of incense and all you do is put the end through your you know split your key ring open a little bit put the end through there and then just drop it in your bottle and let it go so let's light this up whoops get to see it in action what's nice about this this way of making uh, an incense burner is that it catches all the ash in the bottom here so all that ash is gathers right here in the bottom and you don't have to worry about it getting all over your table or whatever the reason we drill the hole is so that there's airflow in the bottom and the smoke will come up out of the top. Just give me one second. Let me just... I don't know if you can see the smoke, but there's a lot of smoke coming out of it right now. And that is all there is to it. Pretty straightforward. Thanks so much for checking out the video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And mm, this smells so nice right now. I think everyone should really have one of these. Um, and we'll see you in the next one.